Okay, let's see if we have better luck this time. And we do! Hey, after everyone missed the end of the last video there. Yeah, I don't care if you're stunned, you're gonna die for making everyone miss you. What's this skeleton thing called? Mr. Bone. That sounds kind of wrong. Yeah, really, really wrong. Good. He's dead. Again. Considering he's a skeleton. Yeah, why exactly are there skeletons in the snow? Doesn't exactly make sense, but... Anyways, let's come out through there. Which connects here. Now... Okay, we'll deal with the battle first. Then we're gonna be jumping off some cliffs. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? Or a really, really, really bad idea. Now, this is where a TV show would have the message saying, Do not try this at home, kids. Popping up in big, bold letters. All caps, too. Okay, so the wild men are thunder element, like the shell, it looked like. Another reason why Hachelle's current weapon is the best for him. Speaking of best weapons, that reminds me of what I mentioned in the previous video about Dart's arguably best sword that we're coming up on. That's also down there, but first we're going to be trying to get those chests, which means jumping off here. Jumping rather than slipping. Which can we get there? No. That was close, though. So we'll use save states, so that we can save ourselves the climb. It'd take a lot longer otherwise. <sighs> this could take a while, folks. Let's try that. Mm, that mm, mm, come on. Oh boy. <sighs> it's even harder to try and remember what you've tried and what you haven't tried. Come on! Jumping off a cliff and sliding around on the ice. That's pretty much all we're going to be doing this video. At this rate, anyways. There are actually three places you can come out initially. Boy. Yeah, 
Okay, the trick is you gotta bury the presses with the little indicator things, like, you gotta press the things at just the right times. And that was apparently not it. Not at all. I don't really know the order, and the, I don't. I can't seem to find any good guides that could give you specifically that information. Like you, like there are some I, IGN guides that are the full walkthroughs, but uh, the, they're in text formats where you basically gotta scroll through pages and pages just to find the part you're looking for. I don't feel like doing that, folks. Okay, I don't know what that was. But it was annoying. Freaking lag. Oh boy. I can't remember how many times I've tried this anymore. I do remember there are tries that don't actually make it into the video. Because that would just make things too long. Not many, but I did cut out a few things. Yeah, you can jump off that side as well, which makes you pop out on this far side. But something tells me it, it was you were supposed to get it down the middle, but I don't really know how to do that. Like, there, there are three things there, so you should be able to get down the middle. But I don't even know if that's possible. If so, how you do it. Figure this stuff out eventually. And then I'll fit it all together in this video. Along with all the other failures, or as many as can fit, to give you an idea of just how freaking hard this thing is. a lot of trouble to try and get these chests, but it's very useful. Well, that definitely wasn't gonna work. Way too far off to that side. Yeah, that's not right. Ah, here we are! Made it! And got ourselves a magic shield, which is like the physical barrier shield. It, the... That we've used a few times, uh... Except that this one guards against magical attacks instead of physical attacks. So now we gotta climb our way back up again in order to try for that second chest. Ok, 
here. This is one of those white apes. And one of the ways to tell is that the white apes actually have that thing held under their arm. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. Do the graphical limitations here. Can't quite tell what that was supposed to be in his arm. It's kind of pillar shaped and white in a place called the Snowfield. That's not exactly specific. Back to the top, we can set another save state, and start trying again to find the contents of the other chest. Oh, and Miro just learned her new addition. It'll start working on right about now. Since Cool Boogie's maxed, Michelle hasn't quite finished working on Hex Hammer. So we'll keep him on that for a while. And let's get back to cliff jumping. I think that's actually a hobby for some people. I think I've heard of something called cliff jumping as a hobby. Definitely heard of something called base jumping. I don't know, it's the kind of hobbies crazy people like. Vaguely crazy. Crazy in the way that they like to risk their lives for fun. It's all about that adrenaline rush for them. Eventually. But I better get it pretty soon, because I'm running out of time in this video. Nope, not that time. How about now? That just got me back here. Wrong chest. Already got that one. Oh boy. Let's try again. Here we are. Yeah, another dancer's ring which is a speed-boosting item for female party members. And now, we can go on to here to get that sword I was talking about. 